What's going on everybody? This is your boy Mike from Trouble Down Productions and NerdFeed.com and this is going to be my third video of a four part series talking about characters in, in the back half of season six. This particular character though, uh, we probably won't see until season seven and I'm talking about Ezekiel. Now I say we won't see him until season seven because you know we still got to meet Jesus, we got to still meet Gregory in the hilltop and Ezekiel runs his own community that he dubs the kingdom. Ezekiel shows up in the comic series in issue 108 and I must say it is a badass cover too. Now Ezekiel not only is charismatic but he's also kind of looked at as being uh, kind of arrogant in the way that he perceives himself as king of his people. Now Ezekiel is a pretty cool headed character like he normally keeps calm level headed but he, he does show insecurities later on in the series when they go through the All Out War story arc, um, kind of questioning his abilities to run things. He wields a sword much like Michonne, except it's made into look like a cane type deal. Uh, so he is a good fighter. Um, he's older, so he's not, you know what I'm saying, he's not nothing like Jesus or nothing like that, you know what I mean? But one of the most interesting things about him is that he's actually got a pet tiger which is really cool the tiger's name is shiva um it, it's just really awesome to think of how they're gonna play that in the show i mean a lot of people are gonna see the tiger and be like well where the hell did he get a tiger it was mentioned in issue 110 i would do i do believe that before the zombie apocalypse he was a zookeeper and he's actually had the tiger since it was a baby so that's really really cool the tiger obeys commands like you know like a normal pet like your average dog or something i mean it's really awesome to see it and it's really awesome to think of how they're really going to play it in the show if they're going to do a cg my i personally think that what they'll probably do is they'll probably have a real tiger uh and then anytime it goes to let's say attack a walker or something like that it'll it'll be they'll use more cg as far as that's concerned um, because I mean, let's face it, dude, you don't want a tiger to attack a, you know, somebody playing a walker, Daryl. Nah, I'm just kidding. You don't want nobody in the set to get hurt. So obviously they're going to have to use CG at some point to do it. Regardless though, I mean, it, it's going to be cool. Who don't want to see a tiger maul a walker, man? Come on now. He is a good guy. He helps Hilltop and Alexandria and Rick and all them. He helps all them with the saviors. Uh, when they do that all-out war story arc, which we'll, we will probably be seeing back half of season seven going into season eight. So by mid-season seven, we're not only going to have the big community of Alexandria, but we're going to have the big community of Hilltop and also the kingdom as well. So by mid-season seven, we're going to have all these communities and all these new people. Ezekiel is another very, very long-lasting character in the comic series. And he even had a relationship type deal with Michonne at one point. Now we have no idea whether or not they're going to play that in the TV series, but it's cool to speculate. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Maybe, you know, since Michonne hasn't really had a love interest through this whole thing, maybe that's what they're gearing more towards uh, when it gets to that point. I don't think they start filming again until May or something like that. So they have plenty of time to cast the role um, there's still been no word on who they might even get to, to, to do the role, but me personally, I really would love to see Dave Fenoy do it because, uh, not only does the guy look almost identical to him, but he's already worked with Sp Skybound and Kurtman before because he voiced Lee on Telltale's The Walking Dead games. So that's really cool that he's already kind of in the mix of things. So maybe, just maybe, they will pick him for the role. Because like I said, Ezekiel is an older character. And, you know, Dave Fenoy isn't old, but he, he, he is a little older. And, and I think he would just be perfect for the role. I do think, though, whoever they pick for the role is, is going to be awesome because uh, Kirkman and them, and they have a knack for talent, and all the roles that, that I've seen so far has, has just been awesome. The, the actors and actresses that they've gotten to play them. 
But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Who do you think should play Ezekiel? If you haven't checked out my part two or four of my Who Is It series talking about Paul Monroe, you can click right there and check that out as well. Once I get done with all four parts, I will be putting them into a playlist so you can just click on one and watch all of them. Uh, but other than that, check out my group Dead the Zombies because I still got two giveaways going on until this weekend. I will put the link in the description below for that and also for my other videos. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also going to put in the link in the description below my new page for the channel. And if you guys want to go get that page a like, all of my content will be starting to get put on that page. So you never miss a thing. Be sure to subscribe too because you'll never miss anything that way either. But I love you guys. Dead the zombies. Nerdfeed.com. You guys rock.